Live, baby, we live. And we got the new camera. It's gonna be a wet one this morning. We got some rain coming. I'm gonna go find a camp back here. Kinda just hide right there till they got a little bad little yellow and red patch about to come through around seven. Be about another 45 minutes or so. But we just trucking, I'm taking my time and you know what, I should have became a weatherman because they done changed their radar three times this morning. And uh, at least at least if I lied, if I was a weatherman and I lied, everybody would still like me. <laughs> but we're going to get it, baby. They say the, they say the river's at 4.6, but I don't believe that. It, it's higher than last week when I was over here. And uh, if I had to say it, it's over five foot. I don't believe them gauges no more, you know, with the silt and all that. But we're going to continue, baby. I'm going to cut you up back on. I'm kind of just put putting through here. They've been having a few logs through here I've been hitting. So I'll cut you along. when we get over there and cut some bait up. You see, I got my new camera. It's, it's been raining and lightning since this morning. I'm running way behind. But it, it was pretty bad this morning. But, man, let me show y'all my, uh, hopefully that looks pretty good. Let me show y'all this point of view I got. Some pretty little bugs. Oh man, that, that light makes them crawfish look beautiful. You can see, you can actually see what I'm seeing now. Hopefully, I got it, the camera pointed down. Hopefully this camera turns out good. Look what they done to that bait. See, my boat's a mess, everything's a mess right now. But this is usually what I see right here. And then right here, this is what y'all see. I got the mic hooked up on, on this one. So I'm gonna get two mics though. I'm gonna order that, that mic they got for this thing. And then I'm gonna uh, have two mics, I'll run two mics. I know I can record audio through this thing, I just haven't really looked into it. Ooh, that water, that water's high. It's way higher than the last time we come. It just gets, keeps getting higher and higher. But I mean, what you supposed to do? I gotta try to edit all of this. This is gonna be fun. This is a new learning experience for me. So couple dead ones. I was, I was kind of worried about that today when I pulled up to the land and the river gauge, if any corpse engineers or whoever does these river gauges, especially the Morgan City gauge, man, can y'all relook at that? Because there's no way that's right. It says this, this morning when I looked at it, it said it was a uh, 4.6 and that's a lie. That's a big lie. Just having fun today. I guess that's all I can really do with the with the rain, man. That light, I love the lights, man. God, I did that last night for y'all. The camera came in uh, Thursday. Went and bought an SD card and everything, and then yesterday my partner he had to work today. He didn't get to come with me. We stopped at Harbor Freight. They bought me these rock lights from Harbor Freight. And uh, I put them on last night. Man, they look good. They make them crawfish look pretty. I could just, I just can't wait to see them in like, when we in the full sunlight. And uh, how it really looks. It makes them glisten. I need to give me a uh, a mirror when doing this. I try. I set it up the best I could see off my phone. Like I just took a selfie and seen where the camera was pointed. Hopefully it's pointed good for y'all. Hopefully I can learn how to edit. My next thing I'm going for is a computer. But man, them things are expensive, boy. 
like the computer that I need to like do these 4K videos is like three thousand dollars. So what I'm gonna do for right now, I'm gonna get one of them SD card readers and I'm gonna edit it through my phone because what I'm doing, I'm shooting in 4K 30 frames per second. If I went over that, I don't think my phone could handle it. I tried to look for a, a MacBook. I did some research online. I tried to look for a MacBook, but I really couldn't find like what the internet told me to look for, like I'm on my area. So I'm gonna probably look again today. And if any of my buddies build computers or whatever, I don't really play video games, you know, so mainly like a workstation that I need and something to be able to edit these 4K videos. So that'll be nice. I'm, I'm learning as I go. I'm trying my best. This would probably be the most difficult one I've edited yet because I'm going to do the frames in and out. But other than that, man, it's raining, you know, but it's still a beautiful day in the swamp. Another day, you know, just getting it working. I don't want to have to be an arborist this time. <laughs> hey, man, I, uh, I'm excited tomorrow. First time being a t-ball coach, so that ought to be fun. Yeah, we had we had a practice the other day, and I uh I pull up to the practice. I got off work. I got off. Uh, I got off work. I pull up to the practice 6:30, and you know I, I was a little confused. My dad was there and all, and my daughter. My daughter's on my team, and I started looking, and I'm like, man, half my family's on my team. All my little cousins, they're all about the same age, and I'm like, what? What is going on? I think that trap's good. It just just the water so hard, man. I know I got a few of them with holes back here. Yeah, this is one of those with holes. Some dude tried to correct me the other day. I know the real name of this, but I'm gonna call it a lily pad. That's what I'm used to calling it, you know? <clears throat> I need to flip this microphone before I drop it in the body. See that trap? Right there? Can't even get to it. I used to come through there with my gator tail and then hit this trap. I just need to grab it. But the water been so low, now it's freakishly high. Oh yeah, it's I thought it was gonna be good. It ain't as good as the other day. But they're nicer though. I tell I tell you, see they didn't eat that bait out of ooh, ooh. That's what I was trying to show y'all. I know the video on my phone didn't really pick it up. But I'm hoping this one does. I'm gonna flop that microphone to the inside of here. At least if it falls, it'll fall in my suit. They got a microphone that hooks up directly to this now, D DJI makes. And I'm going to just get that one. I can record the audio, but if I could just make the process where the video already got the audio on it and make it just a little bit more simpler for me, that would be good. I put the camera inside my canvas today. That's why it's not where it's at. And, uh... Ain't no lightning. Pop on. They call that, you know, when you start speaking French, it's pop on. It's no good, you know. That was no good. <laughs> that ain't no good either. I don't like running in this time it ain't worth it.
No good is definitely the word for this. But Mother's Day is next weekend. What y'all doing for Mother's Day? What y'all doing for y'all moms, you know? She's still here, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do for mine. Usually we ball crawfish, you know? Crawfish, crab, shrimp, whatever we get our hands on. It's easy for me to get my, get my hands on these crawfish because I could just come out here, run me a few traps, you know? When I'm talking about nothing in these traps, nothing. That one got a hole in it for the 18th time. <laughs> Ooh, that water is. This, is, this, this water got to be a foot higher than last time. It got to be. There's no way. How to be an arborist. Because last time we didn't have to do all this. Get back there with that, with that water change color a little bit. They pick up a little bit. Got that water, got that. Rust color to it. Crawfish like that, but you gotta watch it. That trap, see how that traps up above the water? You gotta keep that trap above there. If not, they'll die. But I mean, there ain't nothing in these traps. Yeah. I wish it would have rained during the week. That would have been a lot better for me. The crawfish, like I said, they like to bite. When that water's rotten, and you, it dumps that fresh oxygen in the water, it goes there. Hey, but y'all, uh, another thing, uh, shrimp season opens on May 16th. So, I'm going shrimping. We're gonna be shooting some videos of that. Hopefully I figure out this camera a little bit better. Uh, we're going to my camp, my new lease site, Sunday, this Sunday. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna start getting the weeds and all that. My buddy that's been out there, he caught the old uh, poison sumac real bad. So I got to try to do that. You know, you don't want them kids get all caught up in that and doctor and hospital bills. So. I can see. I've always, my dry, if you ever wonder why my dry, this dry looks crazy and then my other dry looks a lot fresher. Cause this is usually stuff from the last time I fished. And I just pick it up at the house, sometimes the bag wet, and then get a little bit of that mold on there. It kind of is what it is, you know? But I put a couple, of, when I use this, I put three, four pieces, two of them mainly, in a trap. <clears throat> Cause once this, once this gets wet, it's no good. I don't know, I don't know if it's whatever's in there that bonds it, that, I think they put a, like an oil in there or something. Like some type of fish oil, I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, one of them, I know they put blood in, but I think it messes with that oil that's in there. And that kind of, that's probably the biggest part of that attractant. Definitely gained some uh, some lily pads back up, and even in the front, like where I didn't, like I don't know if they just expanded, but this is definitely way more lily pads than what I've been having. Watch us catch this tree. Hang tight.
way more than the bad. I gotta trim all of this. It's good with the water low. I can go under this. Trap look like it's full up. It's full up too. That old knife, that old knife I bought, it uh, it's definitely, it's definitely working. Look at this thing. That thing is a bad mamma jamma. Some old Dexter knives, I'm telling you, you can't beat them. See when that, sometimes, even in that trap, that trap had a lot of crawfish, it didn't. Now let's see what this one's talking about. It's all right. I wish they was all like this. That was a half decent day. So when they get hungry, they'll eat on each other. Sometimes they get stuck in the bottom of their trap and they just, they die. I like to let them sit in my, uh, my trough a little while. What it does, they all they coming out the water and all that water dripping off and they're kicking each other. And that also helps get a lot of the dirt off of them. Why? Why? And that's why I got this top. So I can run in this rain. It's good for everything, you know. I've been at, ever since I bought this top, I never took it off this boat. Not once. I wish it would just stay one temperature, you know? Cause it, it's real helpful in the summertime when it's busting 100 degrees, 90 degrees, and 100% humidity, heat index of 110. <laughs> you know, that's what that's what this comes useful at. Well, I remember when I first started, I was like, I went off on my own. I had a different boat than this, and uh. Man, I tell you what, that was probably the hottest year of my life. No top, the lily pads was like three foot tall. That was horrible. I wanna go home today. I've been wanting to make me some, uh, some crawfish fajitas. It just sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna take some of these crawfish, whatever I got left, like a little bit, and I'm gonna peel them. Go get me some cheese and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm gonna probably make me some uh, some boulettes. That'd be cool. I say tomorrow I got that birthday party, so we balling seafood. I just need something to eat for the night. I had smoked me a uh, a roast a couple days ago. The boy, we put that. Uh, chuck roast. I smoked it for about four hours. I, I smoked it at 250 without foil for two hours and then I uh, I wrapped it up in foil. Man, you talk about tender. I don't know why this thing keeps killing on me. Yeah, but that thing was tender, boy. But I tell you what, what was good about using the charcoal pellets, but it wasn't like the smoke in the roast. You know how that roast got like that flavor to it? It really didn't have that flavor. It had like a good like mellow smoke, smoke flavor to it, if I had to say it. But it, took, it definitely took that roast aspect out of it. That was, I would definitely highly recommend doing that if you got one of them smokers. Even a charcoal grill. Well, I can imagine, I told my partner that I said, you know, the pellet grill is nice, but that never compared to no charcoal, ever, ever. And I think I might have to try that, do a, uh, one of them chuck roasts on some regular charcoal and try that. That'll probably be good. Man, why does motor keep killing it? I wonder if it's getting water or something on a fall pack.
Look at the rain, bruh. Only good thing is I'm staying pretty dry beside my arm when I when I leave my arm out. I could put my top on and look like banana man. But it's alright. Crawfish ain't really doing a whole bunch today. Man, man, man. I need to paint my trailer sometime coming up. I'm starting to notice. I had, a couple years ago, I redid my trailer. I did it with some good, uh, I took some Rust-Oleum epoxy, some that. black. I sanded it down all the way. <clears throat> and then I went straight with that epoxy, that thick epoxy. I didn't water it down, tone it down, whatever you want to call it. Just straight rolled it onto the trailer, and it lasts a long time. But I got a few spots that's starting to, uh, you can start seeing the little rust come through. So it's getting about time to do that. I'm trying to figure out me a color scheme. Like I say, with the truck and all that, the truck's getting painted. So it'd be cool just to have it match a little bit, you know. I'm ready to go shrimping, though, boy. That's, that's a barrier to see right there. But that's one thing. I never used to like, like I said, I never used to like shrimp, like ball shrimp. And the reason is nobody cooked them right. So now I learned how to cook shrimp. Man, I test some shrimp. Uh, I'd eat four, five pounds of shrimp before I eat four, five pounds of crawfish. Just something about it, you know. I like the big shrimp, you know, but sometimes you got to watch with some of them big shrimp. They get that old iodine flavor in it, depending on where, where you're fishing at. And it just ain't, it ain't the best thing. But I, I make all kind of stuff. I think my favorite thing I made so far was shrimp. Was the firecracker shrimp with the egg roll wrapper. That was just, that was delicious. I made that, uh, that boom boom sauce. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Your grandma, your grandma would slap your mom when they so good. <laughs> oh man. Other than that, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna put it back on here. That's a beautiful crawfish. That's a real beautiful crawfish. Way bigger than last time. Like I said, they ain't got as many, but last time they was a lot smaller. It was a mixed batch. It was mainly like small, medium, jumbo. This time it's like medium large. They don't really got no jumbos in there. Like I said, they all go, they all shed differently, you know? Your, your big crawfish, your small crawfish, all that get the shed. And if the small ones wait to shed, you know, we're gonna start having some real nice crops. Some real pretty, pretty. But look, look at that. Look at them crawfish. Look how pretty that is. Get that trash out of there. Like I said, we keep the crawfish clean, baby. Pull up to that old trap. God mad about something. Rain ain't bad though, how they say that? The rain made that whiskey, boy. And we all like to drink whiskey. Saw that trap just fall back down and the place itself back. I just take my time when I'm with y'all, you know. When I'm not filming, I'm pretty. I'm head busting them. I'm trap for trap. I say the other day we did pretty good. We're gonna do better. We'll probably do, we might do the same today. If the crawfish keep the same size, even though they slack. The sack, the sacks will fill up the same amount, but it's definitely way, way worse than the other day. I might have to go back, look at the other video. That's why I like doing the videos. It's like a documentation for me to see how they running. And it lets y'all see the inner workings of it too, you know? So that's fun. Everybody been enjoying the videos and man, I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm gonna hook y'all up. You know, eventually I gotta, I gotta get a few things in line and you know, get all my videos and all that right, get my camp set up, give me another little run. I got a lot of traps, you know, but I want to get a little run, you know, maybe a hundred traps, 200 traps. So that way, 
I could take I could take people out here, and we're not out here all day like I am. You know, we go spend one, two hours, three hours, you know, running around the swamp, get some crawfish, take them back. Like I said, this winter, I'm gonna start building the houseboat this winter, probably in November, and uh, just too busy right now for it. Start like gathering all like all the material that I need and everything. That way, when I start building the camp, I got everything, and I'm not just trying to buy it all at once. If I had to say, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to find me. I'd really like to find. I found one the other day. I just don't have time to do it. Dude had a uh, like a 20 by 28 little carport. That'd be nice. He wanted. He wanted nothing for it. Just come take it down, get it out of the jar. And uh. I just don't got time. What well, we gonna see? They got some people tearing down some houses by us. And I'm gonna try to go salvage as much stuff as I can out of there before they throw it away. You know, it's just a camp for right now. It don't have to be nothing fancy. Just enough to get outside and have fun. I'll be able to tell how much I got when I get to, I got one trap I've been stopping at way down yonder. How y'all say that, yonder? Down in that creek. <laughs> Boy, first time we ever went to Kentucky. That went through me for a while one more. Boy, I said, down there in that holler, they got a creek. I said, what? Yeah, man, they got a creek. I said, a ditch? I said, yeah, man, a creek. <laughs> you just can't replicate it, man, but that place is beautiful up there. You know, now that I, I've been up there a few years, been going up there, you know, traveling Kentucky, kind of exploring it. That's a pretty cool place, man. It's beautiful. Like I say, you get out there in the morning in them rolling hills. I used to call them mountains until they fussed at me and told me it's hills. <laughs> and, uh, it is what it is. But we're going to keep rolling. I'm hoping this rain slacks off today. That would be really nice if it does. So like I won't be wet no more. When we get to the end, we'll shoot a little video. I'll show y'all everything we got like normal, baby. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know this one might be a little bit brief than what I'm, what I'm used to, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to edit this video and we'll go from there, baby. Well, baby, that's it for the day. I'm tired, I'm wet. This time I'm actually wet. It rained all day. The water slacked, the water movement stopped. And uh, the crawfish kind of slacked off a little bit. That's to be expected. Even like last time, you know, two to three weeks on a, on a shed well, after the cold front, you know. But other than that, we did pretty good. I got eight and a little piece. That's a good day for me, you know. I had a good day. Other than that, it ain't hot like it's, like it's normally been. But, man, y'all take it easy. I appreciate everybody been tuning in, baby. And I hope y'all enjoy my new camera.